In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Minecraft internal exception java.net.socket exception connection reset. And the first thing that I recommend that you guys do is change your network settings. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar just like so, then go ahead and type in network connections just like this. Then you want to go ahead and press on open just like so. Then from here, you want to select on your current connection. So whether you're using Ethernet or whether you're using Wi-Fi. Me personally, I'm using Ethernet, so I would right click on it. Then I would go ahead and select on properties just like so. Afterwards, it is going to open up a window that looks like this. And all we need to do is we need to go ahead and locate the option that says Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. All right, what you want to do is you want to select on it. Then you want to go ahead and press on properties just like this. Now, where it says obtain DNS server address automatically, you want to go ahead and press on use the following DNS server address. Okay, so where it says prefer DNS server, you want to change it to 1.1.1.1. And on the second line where it says alternate DNS server, go ahead and set that to 1.0.0 and then 0.1 just like so. Then go ahead and press on OK to save the changes. Afterwards, you're going to need to restart your PC and then afterwards it is going to apply the changes. If you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where they make it incredibly easy to host your very own server. You never need to worry about port forwarding, lag, or any of that complicated stuff that comes with running a Minecraft server. With Simple Game Hosting, they make it incredibly easy to make your server crossplay, Java only, Bedrock only, install plugins, mods, and even mod packs with the click of a single button. These are 24 7 servers with an unlimited amount of players. There's also dozens of video guides showing you exactly what you need to do, along with 24 7 live customer support so you can ask a server expert any question you have at any time throughout the day and with simple game hosting you don't have to worry about all the complicated stuff and errors like this one so if that sounds interesting feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment now another reason why you could be getting this issue is due to firewall and antivirus settings so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the search bar one more time and look up control panel just like this then go ahead and press on open afterwards please locate windows defender firewall then just open it up just like so. Then go to the left menu and select over here where it does say allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And all you want to do is you want to select on change settings just like so. Now you need to go ahead and locate Java W right over here and Java Platform SC Binary. And you want to make sure that it is selected and both the boxes that says private and public are turned on. This is going to allow Java and Minecraft to actually do all the things necessary in order to run on servers and stuff like that. So yep, here's Minecraft Java Edition. You want to make sure that is also turned on on as well the next thing you want to do is you want to check for mods or resource conflicts so mods or plugins can cause connection issues especially if they're outdated or incompatible if you're using mods temporarily remove them from your mods folder and then test out the connection and see if it does work and also if you're running a server be sure to update these server plugins if you're running a server with plugins like spigot or bucket make sure all plugins are compatible with your server version because that is also something that could be causing issues as well unfortunately this is one of those issues where there is no single plug and play solution so guys if you have any other ideas or any other suggestions let me know in the comment section down below please like comment subscribe see you later french fry